welcome to my second video on the Ron Strange and Things Down and Dirty Freight Car Weathering Contest. What you see here is my first car I'll be weathering. It is a Tropicana Reefer by BLMA. I do plan on turning it into a Cryotrans Reefer, like the one you see here. It's got some custom graffiti artwork on the side of it, which I will duplicate. And uh, this one's going to be challenging, but I'm up for the challenge, so let me get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do in order for me to convert this car into a cryotrans reefer, I'm obviously going to have to put a coat of paint on it. Uh, in order for me to do that, I'm going to need to prep it up. So what I have here is a Scotch-Brite pad, and I'm going to want to just... Give it a light scuff. Not too much, just enough for the paint and primer to uh, have something to hold on to. So I'll go ahead and do the whole car. Um, next thing I want to do is separate the body from the frame. Uh, there we have it. it popped right off. I'll set that aside, deal with that later. And we also have a fuel tank that came off with it. Okay, so next thing I want to do, if I can, is separate the air conditioner off of it, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. To do. Oh. Okay, I take that back. so I went ahead and masked the car off. I ended up just taking a walkway off the one side entirely. That was going to be way too hard to mask off. So Now we're ready for some primer and some paint. So we're going to head outside and uh, give it a couple coats and we'll keep going. Okay guys, so here we are outside. I'm going to be using a Valspar Project Perfect Primer. I like this primer because it sprays pretty thin, gives you nice clean lines. Um, so here we go. primer on here. Next I'm going to be using some flat white and Rust-Oleum. I'm going to do probably three light coats. So let's do it. Alright so the car has been drying for well over 24 hours now. Um, all in all, I think the paint job came out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reveal this area here where I masked off. Uh, it looks pretty good there. Flip it around. And it's not an exact color match, but I think I can get away with it. Some uh, weathering or maybe some graffiti. But the walkway for the AC is right here. So might even just cover it up, blend it in, or might not even notice it. So the next thing I want to do now is uh, paint a stripe up here, uh, which is going to be pretty difficult because this door is in the way. All those uh, raised parts of the door are going to be a real pain to uh, mask off but I'm gonna give it my best okay so I think I have this masked off pretty good I'm pretty pleased with it so now I want to go prep up my airbrush and uh, what I have here is some burnt orange 
I might wash it down with a little bit of white and a couple quick squirts out of my air gun should be having a nice line and uh, repeat the process for the other side and uh, we'll go from there so I'll see you in the garage alright I got some burnt orange mixed up in my airbrush here and let's go ahead and paint us a line here alright that looks pretty good now I'll go ahead and let that dry and we'll mask the other side and repeat the process okay so let's go ahead and take the masking tape off see how good the lines came out So far looking good. Alright, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Nice and clean. Surprisingly came out pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to want to do before I put my decals on I'm going to want to do like a light weathering, that way when I put my decals on I don't have the halo around the, the decals. And uh, I'll go ahead and hit it with some dull coat and then some clear coat and then we can begin putting on the decals. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Alright so what I have here are some Bragdon weathering powders, it's uh, Dust Bowl Brown. As you can see by the prototype picture car's pretty dirty up top there so I'm just gonna do a light weathering with the powders so I got a little bit of the powders dabbed out here so I'm just gonna go over it very lightly mostly uh, <clears throat> concentrating on the top and around where the cryo trans decal is gonna go So that looks pretty good. Uh, that's a nice starting point. So I'm going to uh, hit this with some dull coat and then some clear coat and then we can start putting on the decals. Alright now we're ready for some decals. So what I have here is some water, some q-tips, some micro sole, some tweezers, a brush, some scissors, and most importantly some decals from micro scale decals so let me get started uh, cutting these up and we'll put some decals on alright here we go first decal coming on
Okay, so to work on the door here, I have a angled brush now. So I'm just going to dab uh, some powders on and start working my way around the ridges, the ribs of the door. Just kind of darken them up. Again, I'm just concentrating on the top because the bottom will be painted with graffiti. <clears throat> All right, and I also have a small cup of water, so I'm going to dip my brush in there. And I'm going to go around and dab it around the ridges here. It looks a little messy at first, but that's all right. So I'm going to take a Q-tip and kind of dab off what I don't want. And I'm going to go around and do that to the whole door. So I'll check back with you in a few. Alright, so that's the effect I was going for. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side. And we'll move on to the roof. Alright, so on to the roof. I'm going to do the same technique here with the weathering powders and my wacky brush here and just can start going at it alright after a quick dull coat I'm gonna come back with a little bit of the darker weathering powder and just work my brush all along the ridges here kinda darken those up like so <clears throat> alright so I'm gonna flip the car around and I'm gonna repeat the process on the other side of the ridge That looks pretty good. Alright, so what I want to do now, using a micro brush, I'm going to go along each ridge here. I'm going to want to draw the uh, weathering powders down, make it look like uh, the dirt's been washed down the side. Try and get it as much as straight up and down as I can. Don't want to do a lot here. There you have it. All right. So after completing the sides, what I have here is some grimy black. So what I want to do is kind of go along the ridges a little too much on there And I just want to draw it along the car. And 
just kind of work it in. Alright, and there you have it. A nice weathered roof. So now let's do some rust spots. Alright, in order to do some rust here, I have some burnt sienna acrylic paint. Grab a small amount. And I'm just going to do a random rust spot here. And I have a somewhat damp brush, so I'm going to take that and just draw it down. Like so. And I'll move over to the door, put a couple random rust spots. And quickly with my brush, just draw it down. Like so. Alright, so to darken up the rust patch, I got some dark brown here. I'm just going to dab it right here, right in the middle of the rust patch. And next, taking a micro brush, I want to take some powder, some dark rust, and just dab it around the outside of the patch, rust patch. And there you go. Alright, so after weathering the roof, we were back out in the garage for some more airbrushing. Uh, we want to complete the other side that has the custom artwork slash graffiti on it. This go around, I'm going to step it up a notch. So I ran out to my local hobby store and picked up this bad boy, which is a uh, Pache VL series airbrush. And let me tell you, this thing's nice. Just from holding it, I haven't used it yet, but it uh, feels real nice and accurate. Can't wait to use it. So let me uh, familiarize myself with this thing, and uh, we'll mix up some paints, and we'll get this thing going. Okay, we're back from the Redneck paint booth, back on the desk, and here's the results from the airbrushing. I'm pretty pleased with it. Not 
too bad. If you uh, look at the prototype picture here, the sand is a little bit lower. I raised it up for a reason. Um, if you notice the the wave lines there kind of go in between the bottom of the door and the roller of the door and you come back to the model and that would just be a real pain in the behind to uh, try and accomplish so just raise it up a little bit you know I really didn't plan this to be an exact replica kind of just basing it off of it as you can tell by the rest marks but that being said um, for the sake of time I'm not going to do a whole lot of more commentary on the rest of the video. I uh, just want to get this video done. Um, I have another video to make, as you may know. So, without further ado, I'm going to take my uh, micro pen and start drawing out the graffiti. And start painting in the graffiti. And we'll continue on with the rest of the project. And I'll check back when it's appropriate. Uh, again, just want to get this done. So, let's go. Okay, so here we have it, the completed car. Now a Cryotrans reefer. So this thing took a lot of hours. Probably uh, by far the most complex project I've taken on as far as painting and weathering. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. For one, this thing's finally done and I think it came out really good. So, I have a lot of editing to do now, so I'm going to go out and uh, maybe try and take some still photos of it in the sun. Um, that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And it was kind of long, kind of drawn out, but a lot of, a lot of steps taken uh, to get this car looking the way it does. So, uh, I want to wish everybody good luck in the contest and uh, make sure and stay tuned for my next video on my other car I'm going to be weathering and uh, yeah so take care and uh, see you on the next one